Eager to fight on, Jackson rode out between the lines that evening to scout for a night attack. When he turned back toward his men, nervous Confederate pickets opened fire. Two of his aides fell dead. Jackson was hit twice in the left arm. His shattered arm was amputated the next morning. Lee was horrified. He has lost his left arm, he said, but I have lost my right. Hooker continued to bumble. As he nervously watched the fighting from the porch of the Chancellor House, a shell split the pillar he was leaning against and knocked him senseless. Groggy all day, he refused to relinquish command. Finally, he ordered retreat. The defeat was total. Again, the Union Army withdrew across the Rappahannock. Hooker had lost 17,000 men, even more than at Fredericksburg. My God, my God, said Lincoln when he got the news. What will the country say? Chancellorsville was Lee's most brilliant victory and one of the costliest. 13,000 of his men were dead or out of action. But it was the loss of one man that concerned him most. Stonewall Jackson seemed to be recuperating. Then on Sunday, May 10th, he took a turn for the worse. The scene is in a bedroom in which uh, he's coming in and out of consciousness. Pneumonia is what he died of, not the loss of his arm. And uh, his wife got there to be with him. And the surgeon, Dr. McGuire, told uh, Ms. Jackson that her husband would die that day. And uh, she told him, said, uh, the doctor says that you won't last the day out. And he said, uh, oh, no, my child, it's not that serious. And then finally she said, you will be with the Lord this day. And he went off into some sort of sleepy delirium. Pneumonia affects people in strange ways. And he called the doctor and says, Dr. McGuire, my wife tells me I'm going to die today. Is that true? And the doctor said, uh, yes, it is. And he said, uh, good, very good. I always wanted to die on a Sunday. And when they offered him brandy or morphine, he said, no, I want to keep my mind clear. And the last thing he said is sort of, he wandered in his mind. He was calling on A.P. Hill, prepare for action. And then all of a sudden he was quiet, and very quiet for a spell. And he said in a clear, distinct voice, let us cross over the river and rest under the shade of the trees, and then die. The death of our pious, brave, and noble General Stonewall Jackson is a great blow to our cause 